Is this thing on? All right, let me see if I can remember how to make a video. It's been a while. You guys remember when I used to make videos? <laughs> how you doing? Uh, it's been very busy here and I have not been filming myself doing any of the work I've been doing. And the reason you haven't seen any B updates is because there have been no B updates. So this is the latest B update from the previous video. So this is the lamest spring that I can remember in a long, long time. We are a solid three plus weeks late on our flowering trees up here. The, uh, the apple trees are still blossoming and they're not even all, they haven't even all broken buds yet. Uh, we usually late April or first of May or so where we have flowers on, a on apple trees. It's May 24th. We usually have grapes having bud break where the, the buds actually pop open and we see leaves on May 1st. That's pretty consistent. It's May 24th and that is happening like today and yesterday. So we're really late. So the good news is the bees finally have things to forage. There are flowers on trees, the dandelions are in full swing, we have wild strawberries everywhere and the bees all seem happy. We did lose three colonies over the winter. One of the swarms the Carniolans and Cornelia did not make it through winter and we lost two out of the eight nukes. So six out of eight nukes survived and 10 out of 13 colonies survived. Pretty proud of those results and we're in very good shape for spring. We just need flowers <laughs> and stuff for the bees to go and collect. So that's where we are right now. So I was up here last week and I started taking the Vivaldi boards and I still had insulation on a couple of hives because believe it or not, we still are having nights down in the 30s Fahrenheit. And uh, I know that some of these clusters were pretty small and there was brood in there, so I didn't want them to get chilled brood. So I left insulation on a few of the hives. Today it's definitely all coming off and I'm gonna try and do some box flipping if they need to be flipped and starting to even out brood and uh, hive strength. This is our little swarm. It was little a couple weeks ago. Hopefully it's grown up. The Valdi board's still on. That's coming off. Insulation off and coroplast off. So this was a pretty small colony, but they seemed really solid. They were just small. So we'll see how they're doing now. Woo, they look great. Beautiful. They're on six frames now. They were on like two frames a couple weeks ago, or maybe a month ago when I last checked them. So this was the old double rainbow swarm, and hopefully we still have a queen in here. They were tiny over the winter. They, over the winter when I checked them uh, earlier, it was probably February or something, there were only two frames in here of bees. More pollen, oh yeah. There she is right there. So by um, suggestion from the comments, and I agree, since this was the rainbow swarm, that's gonna be Queen Dorothy. And she is a layer. And I think I'm gonna give them another week before they get a super. She's still got room to expand in here, so all good. They got food, they got brood, they got pollen. Lane Queen, this is Dorothy. Something I discovered uh, two years ago, I think. Yeah, Markel paint stick markers. These are like big crayons, but they, they you can write on plastic. And this stuff is, things I've written were written, I think almost two seasons ago and they still hold up just fine, so. Okay, population's way up in here compared to a few weeks ago. It's 
tight fit. There's the queen. Yeah, see? There she is. Of course, the one that I pull is the one she's on. She's okay. I'm going to put her back in. But I'm going to take one out first. So she's here. She's laying on that frame right there. It's like doing the, the frame shuffle here to protect the queen. Put this out. Put this back. And then the queen is protected. The queen is in here. And then this can go back in. So yeah, they are slamming. No problem here. They're going to get flipped. So here's the explanation on the flipping. So beekeepers who overwinter in two boxes usually have two deeps. And they'll, they'll have two deeps filled with honey with a cluster. At the end of the winter, the queen will have moved up to the top box and is laying in the top box. The bottom box may still have honey or be empty. So come springtime, like around now, you reverse the boxes. So you put your queen down below, maybe put an excluder in there, and then the top box is then being used as a super or an upper brood box. I keep in a deep and a medium for the winter. And two years ago, I kept with the deep in the bottom, medium on top. Come springtime, my queen was laying in the medium. She was up in the medium. And I couldn't reverse boxes because they were already in place. I had the deep on the bottom, medium on top, but the brood was all up top and the queen was up top. So I had to get her down, exclude her. There was brood all up in the medium. It was a big mess. Last fall, before I wrapped all the hives, I pre-flipped my boxes. So I put my mediums underneath, deeps on top, because I knew the queen was going to come up into the deep and lay up top here. So now, filled with brood, this is a beautiful brood box. I'm going to put this on the bottom. Their medium is probably either empty or has lots of stores in it. I'm going to put this down below, excluder medium on top, done. There's no probably no brood down in the medium, and the queen is already in this box. So let's do the flip. Stores. Lots of honey in here still from the winter. Tons of honey. This is all left over. This is going to be their super that I'm not going to harvest ever. This is just going to go right on top of the brood box for them, their resources for feeding and then I will super above this for honey that I will take. Bottom board, brood box with a queen. Excluder and the medium super. Okay, they're in their summer configuration now. Vent shim, and yes, I leave these on all summer. This is for ventilation. They can close this off if they want it, but if they don't, they can vent right out of here so heat comes out. So they will be getting a super couple weeks. All right, so that wraps up the main hives. We got 10 hives and some of them have been flipped, some of them have not, but they all are looking good. Uh, Lucy was a little bit weak. I might take a frame of brood from one of the resource hives, one of the nukes, and drop it in there to give her a little boost. But everyone else looks good and everyone has insulation off, the Valdi boards are off, and they're all almost all in summer configuration. 
So I'm gonna wrap this video up right here and then we're gonna move on to the nukes. And I got some big shuffling happening with the nukes and that's gonna be part two coming up next. I don't know exactly when, but that'll be the next video is the nukes. Thanks for watching. This high is packed. Such a gorgeous frame.